Google I.O. was yesterday, and although we didn't get a new version of Android officially released, we did get a developer preview that landed just this morning. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. This is a first look and hands-on with Android L on the Nexus 5. Before we get started, we need to point out that this is not an alpha, this is not a beta, this is a developer preview which you can download today. For that link, you'll want to head over to pocketnow.com and we will show you where you can go to download either the SDK or the image for your Nexus 5 or your Wi-Fi Nexus 7. But let's jump into it. This is the lock screen and as you can see, highlighted first and foremost, we've got the, the new notifications that they showed off at the event. We'll go ahead and scroll up to unlock, go back home. Notice we've got new buttons down here, on-screen buttons. Back now looks like the Google Play icon, just pointing the other direction. Home is a circle. That's kind of reminiscent of some other things. And our running tasks, which now are in the full card-based motif, the material design, is a basic square. Let's go back home. We've got a basic overview. Welcome. Make yourself at home. This is a tutorial, kind of like we've seen before. We'll OK out of that. Organize your space, Hangouts, now does SMS, so stuff that we're familiar with. We've got this nice brown and uh, a light blue wallpaper running and brand new version of our, uh, our app drawer icon. Folders get a little bit different look to them. A little bit of a new keyboard here. It looks a lot more flat. This is very obviously the Google keyboard. Has the same personalization information and you can see a little bit different way that it's handling the numbers above the letters. Let's look at the app drawer. Pretty much the same thing. We don't have the uh, the Play Store or the Marketplace icon up there, so very similar to the Google Now Launcher in that respect. We've got a nice tilt effect like we've seen in the past. Go back home and pretty much everything we do now has this ripple effect that they talk about. So if you can look closely down here, we've got a uh, glow there around the browser. We've got a ripple on the home button. Let's see what our notifications say. I've already taken a screenshot. I can share immediately right from here. I don't have to go in and open up any app or even open up the gallery to find it. I can share right there. Let's go into our Wi-Fi settings. We'll pull this down, the notification shade, and you'll notice over here we've got some uh, much different iconography. Uh, we no longer have what we had over there on the side. Our time clock is now bigger. Go ahead and tap on this little uh, snowman, this little person over here. Very different, in fact, this looks an awful lot like uh, what we saw on the ASUS PadPhone X just from a, a few days ago. Very, very similar. If we want to go into settings, we're going to tap on the cog. From here, very, very pastel, but not Apple pastel. It's kind of a, a more subdued, uh, subdued theme. If we pull it down, you can notice we've got that shadow effect. On the bottom we do too, so no more bounce, no more glow, just the uh, the shadow. A new toggle switch over here too, it's uh, more like a, a, a knob rather than it is a square button like we had in the past. I'm going to go in and look at additional settings, pretty much the same as what we'd come to expect. Let's go back out of that. You can see I've got an authentication problem because I typed my password in wrong, but that's what it would look like for you in the same situation. While we're in settings, let's go ahead and take a look through. Bluetooth is off, we'll turn that on. Nice little subtle animation there. Checking out what we're running, this is the Nexus 5 running Android version L. They're not calling it licorice or lollipop or lemon meringue or anything like that, just L, at least for now. Our dialer looks a bit different. Notice uh, we've got our dial pad icon down at the bottom and when we move it, it scoots out of the way just quickly and easily like that. So it's still there. It's there for you, but it's not in your way. It's not maintaining that place right in the middle unless that's where it should be. And again, the nice subtle animations and drop shadows that go along with that. There you have it, Android L on the Nexus 5. Now obviously not everything that we saw in the developer conference has been built into this release. More of that is to come. So you'll wanna make sure you stay tuned Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on anything. Also, head on over to pocketnow.com right now so you can see all of our additional coverage on Android L and the other stuff that came out of the Google I.O. conference. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And as I mentioned before, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our cool new stuff that's coming just around the corner. For Pocket Now, showing off cool operating systems and a peek into the future, I'm Joe Levi 
Thanks for watching. I'll catch you real soon.